Hello everybody, welcome to Often Wrong Paradigm, where I try and learn things and do things in a different way and teach myself along the way, and hopefully you learn something about this too. I picked up a Hynade MTS-155FX flux core welder, and I haven't welded since 1996-97, and that was just stick and gas welding. And I'm going to teach myself how to use a flux core welder and give a nice little review of this welder here so that you can kind of know what it is, what it does, and how it does it. So sit back, relax, and watch me learn how to weld. Does this look right? Ow! Where did I put my screws? I'm not sure this is how it's supposed to go. I got paid a visit by the Amazon Santa Claus, and we have a welder to test out. This is the Hynade, Hynade, however you want to pronounce that. MTS-155FX. So let's go ahead and unbox it. See what it looks like, what all we get. All right, first thing we're gonna do is give this a nice little cut with the Ginsu. Well, that sucks. That's not a knife. That's a knife. Maybe this is even more dangerous than I thought. Ah. I think he's overcompensating for something. And we got some packaging. smell the box. Uh, some instructions and then we'll uh, look at that later and then we've got a box uh, wire it's not vacuum sealed but uh, yeah it's gonna be wire I don't read Chinese I'm sure it's the right stuff uh, let's see here some gel pads so, let's see here we got a a very high quality uh, multi wrench. Uh, looks like two extra tips, probably 0 0.030 and 0 0.035. More than likely, I don't see numbers on them. Anyway, hey, wow, I'm gonna have to get my old man reading glasses out. Uh, 0.035 and 0.030. Yep. So one each on 0.030 and 0.035, and nice looking wrench. We got the lovely 220-120. We've got a, oh wow, that's a, a rather nice and long looking uh, stick welder gun. Nice tight spring. It's like some copper in there. Looks like they spared every expense making this. And a nice little ground clamp. Looks to be about as long as the uh, stick weld, and it's cheap, but it'll work. Got a nice little copper ribbon in there. Yep. So that should work out well. All right. Yeah, 
ponytail it. There we go. Nothing like uh, overcompensating some tools here. thing and do your work should be fine turn you a little bit more all right so let's bring this up nice and close and when you open this thing up oh looky there got a little springy thing that goes down, that looks like it goes around, that goes up, not spring loaded, that's fine, doesn't need to be. Nice and tight enough, looks like they've got it uh, already set up there, yep. Alright, so let's go ahead and crank this thing open and see what happens. Oh, hey, let's read the instructions first, that sounds like fun. All right, safety tips, uh, ventilation, thermal stuff, voltage supply, it's all right here. Take your time, read it later. Step one is here somewhere. All right, uh, we're gonna take all that stuff off. We're gonna put that thingy on there. Wow, I was really hoping for some reason this would be metal, but it is just plastic. Nice little half turn off. Uh, well, looks like it's got a metal rod in the middle. Not sure if you can see this right here, but it looks like it's got some metal in the center and then it's plastic on the outside. Yeah, it should last, maybe. I don't know. And next it says to put this on here. Oh, hey, so by the way, uh, this is end of March, beginning of April, 2023. The last time that I even touched a welder, I believe it was around 1997. So it may have been a little bit since I've done this. Oh, and I've never used one of these things before. Uh, I did some uh, gas welding and uh, some, let's hear the oxyacetylene and some uh, uh, stick welding in high school, but that was about it. All right, so first thing you're gonna do is put this thingy, let's see, we want this to go that way. That way it feeds up under. See where there's the end, it goes that way. So, I kinda hope this is the high aid wire, but I've, I've heard some good things about it online. Does it matter which way is up? Nope, all right. So, that thingy on, I'm pretty sure this goes on, yeah, it goes like that. And then this thing pushes on here, a little half twist, and that's all there is to it. Easy enough, even I can do it. And more importantly, I probably should have taken that thing out. Oh. Idea. I'm just gonna grab us some flower cutters. Oh, maybe. I think I grabbed the wrong cutters. I mean, it's for electrical wire. Nope, that's a crimper, stripper. Wow, I'd have to get all the way up there. Let's try something else. You do baby clippers. All right, do a little bit of surgery. Snippy. Do not let go. Looks like as I pull on that, it'll be fine. All right, I'm gonna pull this out just a little bit. Because you do not want to. I'm gonna 
I'm not sure if there's a way to tension that anymore. But I'm just gonna take it out just a little bit more, snip off a piece, and we've got a nice less bent up piece. And we're going to feed this thing into the roller. There we go. Sorry, I'm just not very good at sticking little things in holes. And we'll close that down. Snap that on top of that. And then... All right, check this out. I'm a moron, don't worry about it. So, I'm all trying to stick this thing and poke this thing in this hole. I don't know what I'm doing. That should make you feel better about whatever it is that you do in life, because I have no clue how to do this. All right, so let's try putting it in this little hole here. The thingy that looks like a springy. Oh, would you looky there. Nails that first roller and almost goes right in the hole. Let's see if I can grab my little Ginsu here. And lift that up and put that right in the hole. There we go. Slap that down, flip that up. Now, juice, we need juice. So, let's just plug this in here for now. Um, power supply. Oh, shit. It just started right up. There's a power switch right here, and mine came in the on position. Turn it off, turn it on. All right, that's your instructions. Do you tell me anything? Do, 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 set that there, do that this. Install welding wires, spool support. Yeah, they don't really tell you a whole lot on this uh, instruction manual. It's kind of, we're gonna say, a waste of their time and effort, but enough to make the lawyers happy. I guess, I don't, I don't know. I don't see a whole lot of, oh yeah, fire. Electrical can kill you, yeah, that's nice. So, what happens if I pull this trigger? Ooh. Okay, just for fun, let's grab that little piece of wire out. Because somebody snipped this thing off in here and failed to pull out the other tip. All right. Now, make sure we're centered in the frame at least a little bit. And we pull the wire, and I can hear the motor running. You got to shake it out a little bit. Come on. Oh, hey, I tell you what. You crank this sucker up on high. That is doing a lot more work. Oh, there we go. All right. First thing that I noticed, look at this gun. Wow, that took a while. All right, first thing that I noticed right here, let me make sure that you can see it pretty well. That thing is not centered in there. 
Not very well, anyway. Might be a little. So, that tip, not very well. well oh, wow, that wiggles. That's. I was hoping that cranking it down would do some a little bit of good, but nope, that is quite wiggly. I'm not sure if that matters, but I do think that I'm gonna need to get a different tip. So one of the things I was looking at online is that, that thing's really hard to see around. That and it wiggles a lot. I'm not sure if it's a big deal or not. You tell me. So it's got some sort of little uh, belt clippy thing. Well, that's loose too. Sure hope everything isn't all loose and jiggly on this thing. Hmm. All right, so set up. Let's see what it can do besides sit here and look absolutely dashingly pretty. And in the meantime, this, I'm not even sure if I'd use this. Yeah. That clamps in there pretty easy. Alright, and what do we think? Ground. Ground goes to ground, right? Not. Ground goes to positive. There we go. Hey, hey, more, more of a correct size tool. I want you to see what that is. Alright, let's give it a go. But not today. I'm gonna go change and live my life for the next couple days and I'll get back to doing the video later. Okay, I think we're about set up ready to weld. We got a, everything we need. We got a welder. Uh, yeah, welder. Got a welding helmet. And what else do you need? Some safety gear. So there's nothing better than the crap the army gave you, right? So, yeah, this is an old one. I didn't even have time before the deployment to even sew name tags and patches and stuff on this. But I figure that should be good for protecting my arms. The old nasty specialist hat i just uh there we go that's kind of like a i'm sure that's kind of safe at least but uh see what else we can do uh we need something to weld on so just happened to be cruising around one of my neighbor's houses over there and found he had an old bicycle sitting there so i figured may as well use this as a test dummy it looks pretty much uh well i'm sure it's seen better days Tires flat, the handles are gooey and sticky. That's nasty. Uh, no seat, it's, you know, high quality. So, I figured somebody else in China welded this thing, so I may as well use this to practice. Let's see what we can, uh, see what we can do here. All right, wow, I tell you what. This may be a really old uniform. I'm not sure if you can tell the difference between the color of my pants and the jacket here, but, whoo! I think this thing's got starch in it. It's got the old rusty trusty uh, Harbor Freight all leather weather welding gloves. I don't even know how these things got dirty. Burning wood. I like to burn wood. All right, let's get you positioned. How's that look? All right. Okay now kids, if you think that you don't have anything to weld on, just go around your neighborhood. People throw away bikes all the time. Chinese people weld on these things. You can too. All right, so I don't know exactly what I'm expecting here, but uh, first time, hope everything works all right. Uh, let's make sure that this helmet works also. Definitely thinner than what I thought. That looks like it's pretty thin. I kind of thought that this was going to be uh, steel. Um, I don't know. It's heavy like steel. All right. Let's try, try this again. Oh, 
Aid cutters are awful. Barely even wants to snip the wire cleanly. There he goes. Yeah, that, that takes a minute. All right, we'll try this again. Got is a fifty and sixteen point five. May have to switch to a different pipe if Pretty sure I'm doing most things wrong, not right, yeah. But I'm pretty sure I do everything the right way, R right? Okay, so new day, new problems as always. I uh, went ahead and went to Lowe's and grabbed a, a sheet of, what is this? Uh, some eighth inch cores here, one quarter. I don't know what that is. You can read that. I got some of that stuff, just so I can uh, do some practicing on it and maybe test out the some lens filters that I got, which hopefully then allows you, the viewer, to be able to see my weld. And then you can see exactly how bad I am at it. So let's go ahead and crank this thing up. Try not to destroy the camera in the process. Might need to get some kind of a shielding or something for it to make sure it doesn't get splattered on, but we're gonna give this a shot. I'd say I need practice. Well, it welds. It shoots out hot molten something or other. <laughs> Let's try. Let's just see what 125 does. That's me right now. All right, well, I'm sure there's been worse first timers because I don't even know what the settings are on this thing or if it's even close to being correct, but let's go ahead and knock that slag off and just see what it looks like. So my first and second welds with the machine. Um, I'll let you critique the uh, crappiness of them. I mean, they're squirreling all around and uh, looks like that one's about to blow a hole through the back end, but. I do know that on that one, I was I was getting a little too far away. Looks like I had it kind of okay to be, start with, you know, for the first 
oh, 10 seconds, and then uh, got too far away, and then started pushing it in closer. Uh, but overall, the splatter doesn't really seem that bad compared to what I've seen online. Okay, so I'm a moron. I'm sure everybody that knows me already knows that. I don't math good or, in, or English. I don't know why. I, I had eighth inch and I was looking at like 0.2. It's 0.12. So let's go ahead and come back over here. I'm going to turn this thing down to somewhere between the uh, 17 and a half 70 and that's going to be way too high. I'm going to go more towards the 70, maybe bump it up to like 75 on this eighth inch and uh, see what that does. All right, so 75, 17.7, .7. sure, whatever that is. We're going to try this and, and start slowly working it up and, and then, then we'll mess with the, the voltage on all that. All right, I'm not flashing myself. Hopefully, stop burning through because it was way too high. I don't know, I had a thing up on 130. I bet y'all were laughing at me. You were laughing at me, weren't you? Having a good old time. Thanks. Come on, guys. Let somebody know. Let me know that I'm not a moron. Okay, so after making that little bit of a change of the machine, putting it on 75 and the 17.7, I threw down another bead, and I think that's not bad for I haven't touched a welder in 26 years, and I've never used one of these before. I was sticking gas, but uh, yeah, getting a lot better. All you have to do is set the machine up right, and I'll let you be the judge of the penetration on that. I can't see it under there, but yeah, I'd, I'd say that's uh, getting a lot better. It's even straight-ish. I'll keep at it. Okay, so the last thing I want to show is using the stick welder. And uh, it's been a while since I've done stick welding, so I have no idea if I'm doing this right. So we're going ahead and uh, stick this in the negative. Go ahead and do electrode negative. And I ran to Harbor Freight, picked up a few different things, and I just got these uh, 6013 332nd. Uh, I told the guy at Tower Freight what I was doing and he said these would work. So I'm going to go with these and see what happens. And we go ahead and uh, stick this in the electrode holder. It's got a little, uh, little groove in there. I'm not sure if you can hear that. First time using this ever, let's see what happens. Yeah, I pulled it up to 110. Now let's see what happens. squirrely but uh I think since I haven't done this in about uh, 25 years or so not too bad go ahead and turn off the machine drop the bar safety safety whatever that is supposed to be all right we're gonna let this cool for just a second yowzers that's probably Probably why she'd leave a glove on when you're doing this. That's uh, still kind of hot. See, so, you know, the guy at the store said uh, 6013, it would, the flux would just flake right off. 
and I am not seeing any flake right off. Wow, that shot me in the arm. Hey, there we go. Maybe we just need to let it cool a little bit. doesn't look half bad. As long as I can keep the, uh, the distance right. And uh, it'd be a lot easier if I was supporting my arm in some way. I'm just kind of floating this whole thing out here and trying to uh, work, work the electrode as it's burning down. So, Okay, so overall I would say that I am quite impressed with the, uh, the welder itself and using it stick and with the uh, flux core. So I think I paid around 190 for the machine, uh, 180 something on Amazon. Uh, doing the flux core and stick, I think it's going to be a great machine for me to both learn on and maybe get a little bit better with welding and do a few projects along the way. So stick around and I'll be working on a new front bumper for the Bentelli cart here and working on some side steps. Should be a fun little adventure. Until next time.